examples. Now my friends will come and Jayesh had presented there is some men at an end for now we will look on the weapons and weapons and it will be more of a like uh, you will be pictures and I, I will be explaining there will be nothing much on slides so please ponder 5 minutes here to listen to me ok first of all we will move with ship actually uh, there was not very much time there was not very much uh, in the air we have white uh, first of all we move with vehicles so uh, we move with ships first so we don't have uh, the first world war ended on in 1990s approximately in 1920s and uh, 20 years after a new war has been called on and after the first world war there was a treaty of world has been imposed so it was very much difficult for people to create new weapons new weapons and vehicles so in the second world war, world war what happens is they created some new vehicles but major of them were of previous one, like they were the improvised version of the previous one. Like first of all, here is U-boat. You can see it here. It is uh, U-boat. It came from a German word, which means underground boat. Most of the part, it's most of the part of this boat. If I may have a little, uh, most of the part of this boat is under the water, and only some part of it is above it. And uh, it's the main weapon used is our torpedo, mines, and dark guns. That's are just facts. And it was mainly used in the Battle of Atlantis. This uh, this U boat was used in the This was used in the Battle of Atlantis and it was a great success there. But it was destructed because like my friend said, the Enigma was there. Enigma was a German port and this port was broken by the British people. So they know the exact location of this. Like if there is a U-boat, it is a very useful one for Germans. Now they know the exact location of this U-boat and they distracted it. So from this it goes out of the picture. Like most of the most of the reason of destruction of U-boats are this. And now the second one is uh, destroyers plus cruiser. Now this one. This one is Shadow Japanese Aircraft Carrier. This one is the largest board of its kind. Like in of all, of all the kinds, of all the kinds, it is the largest board at that time. It is the largest board of that time. And uh, it, okay, it sunk on 24th November 1944. Well, uh, a Japanese and American submarine half fish attacked on it. Now the one below it, the one in previous is uh, this Destroyer class cruiser. It was the it was a series of three panel ship, and it was a major workship. And it was like uh, this one, the Destroyer class cruiser. The Treaty of Versailles was imposed, and they have to create something. So this destroyer class cruiser was prepared within in accordance with all the treaty with in, the, in accordance with all the rules of that treaty. Like no rules were violated in creating this ship, and yet it was a very good ship at that time. Uh, moving on next, now we will move to aircraft. Uh, actually, World War II sees a combination of fighters, interjects, and so many things. Like, I will uh, ponder over the jet power. So, uh, there were jet power. Jet power fighter plane. Jet power Uh, it was the first time that jet power was used in the World War II. It's a major uh, science was developed for this only. Like they were used for the first time in this war. Like we see a uh, multiple M2 6 uh, its plus its plus operations are that it was the first operation jet powered fighter aircraft, and it was among the <coughs> most fastest fighter plane in the Allied forces. It is speed was made by none other in the Allied forces. And, and I know what you see between below is another two three four. Another two three four was the 
जेट पावर बॉम्बर एक्चुअली इट वॉज यूज फॉर द सर्विलेंस मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट इट वॉज मेजरली यूज फॉर द सर्विलेंस ओनली बट इट वॉज अ पावरफुल बॉम्बर एंड इट वॉज नेवर इवन एन एरेडो टू थ्री फोर वॉज नॉट इवन डेसीफर्ड ओके मैम मूविंग ऑन Science, like, yeah. science, uh, this, now we come to rocket science. This, now I told that they are jet powered. This rocket, the fighter planes are jet powered. So they used rocket to, uh, you throw that in the sky, and they were now used even in today's day. That technology, after developing a little bit, were used in today's day to send the our missiles, our uh, not missiles, to our, to our missiles to the space. Now I will I will let you come to conclude this. And these are the some of the innovations which were used during World War II, like nuclear power and business. That were some that was the first computer. Now the paratroop, sonar and radar were created. Radio was used at first. Jet engines were used. We do I discuss right now. And penicillin, like penicillin was there before, but it was mass produced in the World War II. Yes, right.